afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Cincinnati Reds and the Pittsburgh Pirates. So striding forward now, Nicholas Castellanos. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Not an altogether bad afternoon for baseball. 54 degrees here at first pitch. Fastball, strike three called, and he's caught looking to begin the afternoon. And now for the Reds, Jesse Winker. His previous history with Trevor Williams. A handful of plate appearances, and he's gone four for six. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. The 2-2. Two -two. Hey, there's not a lot you could do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. The first baseman, number 19, Joey. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Smoke toward the hole. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Got it for the third baseman, number seven. Stepping Eugenio. in now, Eugenio Suarez. Nope. Fastball well outside. All even now, two and two. Votto leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And it's fouled away. Line to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. That is fifth. The second baseman, Mike Moustakis. Standing in now, Mike Moustakis. High in the air out to center field. Reynolds has it for out number three. Settling in now, Kevin Newman. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Two and two. Here now the two two. To short. Fielded by Galvis. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. And that will bring in Adam Frazier. Two hits and eight tries for the series. Count is one and two now. One out, nobody on. Soft liner to the right side, but this will be taken easily at first, and there are two gone. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Winker will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. All set for the start of the inning. Now batting, Aristides Aquino. And he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Reynolds is under it to make the play on the first down. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvis. Now the 2-1. High and deep down the left field line. 
And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Into the box now, Tucker Barnhart. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. Got him swinging in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Barnhart is retired. Two down now. Ready now for Cincinnati. Anthony DiSclafani. Two out, nobody on. Hard hit at third. A dive and he knocks it down. And they will still manage to get him at first. A spectacular all-around play, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Josh Bell. And they'll need him to get something going here. Go. Swing and a miss as he was way early on that one. Three and two. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. And he checked his swing, but it's a strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. The 2 1. High chopper to third, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2 and 2. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Here's Gregory Polanco. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Now in the box, Nicholas Castellanos. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish to two balls and two strikes now. Too much dip on the sinker. Laid off for a ball. Jesse Winker waits on deck. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. So coming to the plate, Jesse Winker. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Winker in front, three balls and a strike. There's Joey Votto as he gets ready in the on-deck circle. Three and two now. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. And this one's tap fouled at home plate. The next three, two. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. So up steps the former MVP, Joey Votto. A high, two and one now. Leathers on the move for second, and he fouls this one off. The 2 2. Line toward right center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now back. The third baseman. A Eugenio. At the plate, the Eugenio Suarez. Count remains full.
Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made. And here comes the runner from third. And that'll plate their second run of the game as they take a 2 0 lead. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And up next, the former World Series hero, Mike Mustakas. 1 1. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Hit hard to short. And a backhanded try into the hole at short, but this gets on by. Now batter, number 44. At the plate now, Aristides Aquino. Line toward the alley in left center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. To the plate now, Freddie Galvis. Fastball called strike, one and two. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So keeping it to two runs across in the inning would be huge. The 2-2. Two -two. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Throwing the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Bottom of the third now. Set to get his day started, Kevin Kramer. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already. And there's your first out. Bases are empty. One man out. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. The 1-1. One, one. Now a line drive that's going to be caught out there at short. Unlucky that time, and that ball will end the inning. Digging in the switch hitter, Tucker Barnhart. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Coming to the plate now, Anthony DiSclafani. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. One and two, the count of the Reds pitcher. One and two. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin now inning number four. The left fielder. So two are gone now for the Reds in their half of the fourth. And the right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bet next. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now the pitch. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Up next for the Buckos, Kevin Newman. The one two heading out towards shallow right number 44 has the best view of this one so he'll take it for the first down. So here's Adam Frazier no runs no hits and no errors so far for the Pirates no offer on that one two balls and a strike. Bounce to first. Fielded by Votto. 
And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Ready for another chance. Brian Reynolds. He flew out in his last at bat. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Now to the plate, Jesse Winker. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. In is Joey Votto now. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. One out, nobody on. Swing, line drive. That's going to be trouble. Now this will rattle up against the wall. The relay. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. Now batting. Third baseman. Eugenio. And now Eugenio Suarez. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And a relay home. And he is safe at the plate. It's now a 4-0 game. Stephen Brault enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. So now to the plate, Mike Mustakis. Bought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Fouled away. Four runs, eight hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and Mustakis is aboard. It's a base hit. Now batter, number 44. Stepping in now, Aristides Aquino. A ball and two strikes now. Runners are at first and second with one away. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Freddie Galvis. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Looking to minimize the damage here. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Swing and a liner. Foul. Now another 2-2. Two -two. So a full count now. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. A payoff pitch one more time. Line to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. Into the box, Tucker Barnhart. High and wide, two balls and a strike. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. He's fallen behind now, three and one. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. He likely had ball four that time, but couldn't hold back on the swing, so that moves the count to three and two now. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. So our situation has the bases loaded, two men out. And so the pitcher will bat next. That brings up Anthony DiSclafani. Fouled off. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. One, two is an off speed pitch. No dice. It's two and two. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes 
the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. And it's fouled away. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Here's a fly ball well hit. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, so that'll bring up Josh Bell, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Winker has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Striding into the box, Colin Moran comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2 and 1. Hit on the ground toward the left. Fielded cleanly. On to first, and there were two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And the left-handed hitting outfielder Gregory Polanco bats next. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. Yeah. Three balls, two strikes. Right side, hit hard. And that is through into right field for a single. The center field of the 33. Into the box Jesse now. Winker. Jesse Winker. And he fouls this one off. Three two pitch. And he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Joey Votto. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Now the payoff pitch home. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Hit on the ground out to short. And that's through into left, a base hit. The throw home. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Up next for Cincinnati, the third baseman. Eugenio. Standing in now, Eugenio Suarez. Swung on and missed. One and two now. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Now, that second base. now with the plate, Mike, Mike Moustakis. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. Yeah, they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying away. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Kevin Kramer. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Now the one and one pitch. Is a fastball taken high for a ball. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Number 44 is there and he makes the catch for the out. Stepping into the box, Jacob Stallings. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see 
if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. One and two now. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. Robbie Erlin enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Stepping into the box, Aristides Aquino. He's working on a one for three thus far. The one-one. He's in there for strike number two. Left side. Reined in. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Coming to the plate now, Freddie Galvis. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Now the one and one pitch. Misses, ball two. Bases are empty, one man out. To two and two now. It's funny. That pitch, I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit, and why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. Standing in, Tucker Barnhart. 0 for Tucker. 2 from him so far Barnhart. in this one. Now the one and one pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Two balls and two strikes to the Reds catcher. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Reynolds has it for out number three. We join for the traditional seven inning Last half of the seventh here, so the lineup flips over and digging in, Kevin Newman. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. We're moving right along into this one as we head into the late innings. Listen, if you want to score, you're going to have to bunch some hits together, and they haven't been able to do that so far, so hopefully this leadoff guy, this will be the right guy right, at the right two, spot two. to get something going. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time Here we go. is looked at and the count moves full. These are the kind of A-Bs regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout as an offensive player and your teammates are loving it. And that's a base hit. So the perfect game bid ends in the seventh. Up next for Pittsburgh. No left fielder. At the plate now, Adam Frazier. That misses. So a single and a walk, and it's first and second with nobody out. The center fielder, number ten. So stepping in, Brian Reynolds. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. The first baseman. Josh Bell, Josh the next Bell. to hit. Bell. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Winker is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Stepping up now, Colin Moran. Now no hits for him to baseman. this point, not unlike Colin. many of his fellow teammates. Moran. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Well, that's off. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Fouled off. Again, he sends it out of play. Two men are on with two men out. Good eye to lay off the knuckle curve that time, and he makes it a full count. 
and it's late his afternoon of work and the longer this at bat goes the better chance of him making a mistake but as a guy starts to tire they're more likely to leave the ball up but man he's been good so far payoff pitch one more time lofted in the air out to right field so they do get their first hit but their first run will have to wait as the inning is over ready now Anthony DiSclefani and an opportunity here for a fourth plate appearance here this afternoon and you have to say he's really earned it at nibbled the corner there but missed two and one just off the inside part of the plate it's three and one hitters count all the way here it comes Hit down the line at first, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And he misses with it. Ball four. And a terrible start to the inning as he's walked the pitcher leading things off. Nick Castellanos now. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Fly ball out toward left center field. Left fielder is on the move, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. So one away here in the Reds half of the eighth and next to bat will be Jesse Winker. Now the three and two pitch and he takes ball four again and they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. The first baseman number in now Joey Votto. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. Fastball well outside. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Votto is hitting just over the benchmark 300 plateau. Source of pride for him, I'm sure. I love everything about this guy's offensive game. The name of the game is to get on base and score runs, and this guy does it as good as anyone. And the relay throw is right by him at third base. The third baseman, number seven, Eugenio in now, Eugenio Suarez lays off the one two changeup and he's worked it back to two and two. Into the corner and slicing foul. This is hit high and deep out to left. Looking up is the left fielder. It's a grand slam. Michael Feliz comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. To the plate now, Mike Mustakis. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. Weekly hit towards first. Bell scoops it up, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Stepping in, Aristides Aquino. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The 2 1 home. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. Here's the pitch on two and two and he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Bottom of inning number eight set to go ready for another shot now Gregory Polanco. It was a fly out for him in his last trip starting to run out of time they haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one a perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally and it's fouled away ready with another 2 2 
lifted the other way to left center. Castellanos a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. The bat. At the plate, Kevin Kramer. Three one the count to the Pirates shortstop. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Line drive to center field. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Now batting. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Galvis towards second. He's got it. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Digging in to try it again. Freddie Galvis. He went deep earlier and he's two for four to this point. Well, Just off the outside as he can't catch the corner. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Got him swinging on the fastball now there. Freddie Galvis Cut. becomes Cut. the first out of the Cut. inning. Cut. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. And when you're already down by a bunch, this is where a guy's got to take some responsibility out there and at least start throwing some strikes. Inside as he nearly got him, and it's ball four. Mark Payton will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. From the belt, the pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Back to the top of the Reds lineup now and stepping in, Nicholas Castellanos. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1 1. Rounded weakly to the left. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Rysel Iglesias is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Eric Gonzalez will get up off the bench to lead off the home half of the ninth, and they've certainly got their work cut out for them here, so he'll just need to work on getting aboard. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Kevin Newman will be next. Another full count pitch on its way. Full count still. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded three and two. And could this be the start? It's a long way back, but the leadoff man is on base to start their final set of at bats. The one two. This is on the ground over to first. Galvis on to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. Standing in, Adam Frazier, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. The 3 1. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Line to the right side. But a foul ball. 
good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And this is in the air to right. And this should do it. He makes the catch, and the Reds will salvage at least the finale in this three-game series as the ball game is over. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail-biter, but it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. Ten to nothing, the final shutout score in this one. Cincinnati scored 10 runs on the way to victory. Anthony DiSclefani gets the win on the mound his first of the year, allowing only a single hit across eight full innings. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Ten runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left 10 men on base. For the Pirates, no runs, just one hit. No errors. They left two men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 14 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.